Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I am going to go over a coin called Caspa. Update that coin for you guys. Uh, it's like the only bullish coin right now going up. Um, taking the place of Quant for the time being, right? So here's the deal. I got to go over that, but I'm still looking at this GBTC chart. The reason I'm going over this stuff is you want to keep this in the back of your mind. I'm not saying uh, Caspa can't do another pump. Probably can because it's a small cap cryptocurrency so i would not be getting into it right now it's gone up quite a bit it's got a lot of bearish divergence at the top i'd be checking that out it'd be like buying bitcoin at 65k and if you held on to bitcoin since 65k you know what happened next right so right here in this area guys like the gbtc chart and the eth chart are like right on the edge it just right on the edge so this is not a surprise I knew this was going to happen. They'd be sitting there probably for the next couple of weeks, more than likely, guys. Or the Bitcoin chart, nothing's really changed. Um, it's looking like uh, the Dow Jones and maybe the uh, NASDAQ, they were trying to make an attempt to go up again. I'm still expecting them to do a uh, turnaround. There are, they have topping patterns, kind of like CASPA. Okay, guys? All right, so we'll go over Caspa right now. Topping pattern just like that on Caspa. It came down, was able to whiz off that move right there. So here's your one, two, the third way, fourth, and it's a fifth. Could it go up a little bit more? It could, but not only do you have divergence from here to here, now you're getting divergence from there to there. Last time I did, I said, yeah, I could pop off, and it did. It looks like it's making, it looks like it has one more little thrust. More than likely, guys. So right there like that. So this this is the advantage right here, to guys, to crypto. This is why I like crypto, because you can find things like this in cryptocurrency, okay? Um, I don't want this to be ruined with all the regulations coming in, guys. That's what I don't want to happen, but I don't think it will. You'll still have pretty massive gains um, right there, you know, 27X on Caspa. Now, with CASPA, it's going to be in a topping pattern up here, and um, it could go up a little bit more. There's probably some FOMO in it, since it's kind of one of the few coins right now that's extremely bullish, and it could go up quite a bit more. Then it's going to do a correction. More likely, this area, this uh, fourth wave area is going to be the area I'd be checking it out, okay? More than likely, it's going to come back down here. It could go into another. It could go into another significant wave over here, guys. So that's what I'll be checking out. You want to check it in the RSI. And also, too, you want to keep track of uh, what's going on with Bitcoin, Ethereum, maybe some other coins. Maybe they'll be finally done with the correction. And you don't necessarily need, say, for example, like, um, let's say something like this, guys. Right? Here's Bitcoin. Let me go to a four-hour chart. No, nah, let me go out to an eight-hour chart. Let me go out to an eight-hour chart. Okay? So let's say Bitcoin needs to go down and do a leg. All Bitcoin would really need to do. So it goes down, does another leg. Caspa is going to be coming down into a correction. Be checking out the levels, FIB levels. Like I said, this is the uh, target area. I'd be checking right back down to the fourth wave area. And Bitcoin could be doing a dump. And all Bitcoin will need to do is a move like this. Okay? And then this would be able to pull off a wave right there. A wave like that. It's what I would think would be the next wave that would be coming. This wave, it'll correct that wave, it'll pull off another wave, and then going like that. Something like that is what I'm going to suspect with Casper, guys. But this will be the uh, sequence. You know, now this whole thing is going to be the wave one, come back for a two, and it can go into a three, possibly like that, guys. So that's what I'm going to be looking for for with this coin. It's looking pretty good. Nice wave structure. Definitely bullish. Just needs to correct it, and it can go bullish again. If you made all the way to the end, do me a huge favor, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. Peace.